more Red Dead Redemption 2 coming your way today, folks. And I'll keep them coming even faster if you hit them like and subscribe buttons. Alright, let's go! Alright, so we are supposed to meet up with Dutch, I think, in the sheriff's office once again. Oh, that's the guy we helped out once. Okay, what does he want? Interesting. Hey! Yes, this here's the feller! The one that found me. The medicine man, huh? Helps with the mystery box? I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can do. All right, we uh, yeah, saved that yeah, guy from a snake home. bite. Yeah, guy it's with the snake time. bite I says I can put some yeah, here yeah. on his tab. That fool! Jesus! If it's, if it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his owe, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Oh man, I'm getting something very expensive on his account. <laughs> ah, no cheap stuff. Let's go for some clothing. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we look nice. Something up on your tab. Thanks again. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Now, with our newfound look, let's go meet up with Dutch. I bet my new outfit will impress the sheriff. <laughs> Come on, move already. Man, I guess we're gonna do a lot of missions for them. It's gonna be interesting, though, helping the law for a change. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Oh, we can play this guy easily. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. All right, so the drunken sheriff wants us to retrieve some booze. <laughs> Sounds about right. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? 
But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Yeah! Well, we tried to get information out of him, but... That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> oh, they are having fun. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Actually, I don't. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, looks like a robbery took place here. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. <laughs> Come on, mister. Ah, let's investigate, I guess. Eyes open. What is he looking for? Oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. I'm already here, man. <laughs> look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Alright. So I guess we are going after them? Or what? Man, that uh, deputy doesn't talk a lot. I guess once we hop onto the wagon, he'll, he's gonna tell us all about what we'll do next. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Wow, Arthur is agreeable with everything. <laughs> in the name of money. Oh, wow. So what was I saying? That's a Something misty region. The Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. All right, this is gonna be interesting. I like this uh, this environment. Understood. Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on, let's see what we're dealing with. Oh man, the sun shining through. 
That's a nice view. Alright, so first up, let's scout the competition. Well, not the competition. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Oh, shut up. <laughs> actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he's definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Oh, I can choose. Oh, whatever. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. <laughs> oh man. How we abhor Remember tax dodgers. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. <laughs> Alright, I guess uh we are gonna have to use the lasso for this. Alright, that one on the bridge is mine. I guess. Although they are moving, I think. Or aren't they? One of them is moving. I think the other one is... Uh, yeah, he's just sitting there by the car. You wait here. I'll do with him. Okay. Make it quick. It's the only way I know how to do things, man. Ah, let's give him a good yank. I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. Wow, so Bill is actually doing nothing. <laughs> well, figures. I'm the workhorse of the team, I guess, and Bill is, uh... Well, I don't know, the guy with the rope? <laughs> or something. No, oh, Dutch and the deputy are doing some work, though. Alright, let's sneak up behind him. He seems to be just standing there, looking. Probably drinking. I thought I saw him move earlier, though, so let's take the long route, just to be safe. I'm probably making this a bit more difficult than it has to be, but... Uh, you know, we are supposed to be stealthy, so... I don't want to fail this and have to restart the whole mission or anything, so... Yeah, let's just take the cautious approach. Yeah, that guy has no idea what's coming for him. <laughs> Alright. Good night now. Oh, that was unnecessarily rough. Okay. <laughs> Ah, these boys are going down fast. I mean, one punch or one hit and they are gone. Usually we have to work for that. At least, at least struggle with them for a few seconds, but... I don't know. Alright. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that. That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> hey Bill, man, you were supposed to blow up a whole train and missed it. You're gonna hear for it for a while, <laughs> that's for sure. Alright, dynamite. It's the first time I'm gonna place a dynamite. Let's see, hopefully I don't blow myself up in the meantime. Uh, about here should be fine, I think. It's just, uh, it's just go, I guess. It's gonna blow up. I just placed it. Okay, <laughs> that was easy. I didn't even have to light it. Oh, here comes trouble, though. Yeah, I know. I heard it. Close one. Worms will have you for 
We are a bit too far for pistol fight though. Let's get a bit closer. Although remember, whenever you uh, manage to hit somebody from afar, especially headshots, you get a uh, dead eye upgrade point. So I have no trouble at least starting everything from afar and uh, moving in whenever there's uh, or somebody that needs dealing with in closer range. There's not a lot of them, I bet more will come in. Got the freeze on that one. Usually we are vastly outnumbered. Yeah, see, told you. Usually we're vastly outnumbered in this fight, so I guess it was only to be expected. Oh, okay, whole crew riding in. Oh, wow. <laughs> They went down in flames. Alright, let's mop up the last of them. This is a good place for an ambush, by the way. Lots of buildings and stuff. Where is that guy? Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. Ah, bye now. In your oh, damn! <laughs> see, told you this was a good place I for an ambush. Anymore. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. It's never a good, uh, good route to take going among buildings with closed doors. You never know who's gonna pop out of them, or a window, or a balcony. It's dangerous things you should always move between cover but I guess this game is kind of forgiving so it doesn't matter that much all right guess we got all of them time to take the booze and actually I don't know what we're gonna do with it probably the deputy will tell us what's next well done <laughs> well forgive me but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. All right. Stash this somewhere near camp, boss. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Oh, you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go. Yeah, I never lose these rides because they take the roads and I just cut uh, through shortcuts. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dutch man, but. This is how I'm gonna play it, and uh, yeah. Much of a rider. We'll see about that. And you can also block them sometimes. So if you uh, stand right in front of them as they try to go and pass you by, 
they will slow down real, real much. So, uh, yeah. I guess I, I even have time to just rest my horse. I let that get a bit closer and then we go again. Because sometimes those race, those races are long, man. So you gotta rest your horse. Oh, wow. Almost fell off the bridge there. Let's take another shortcut. Let that go the long way. Although I should be wary of trees. <laughs> Do not want to get stuck in one of them. As I've done plenty of times off screen, trust me. <laughs> oh, okay. We can rest the horse maybe a bit. I don't know. Look how far back that is. This is not even a competition, man. Come on. <laughs> Ah, let's just race to the finish line, line and put him out of his misery, I guess. Yeah. Final stretch. You can hold that no doubt. Oh man, he still talks. <laughs> yeah, let's take another shortcut. Let's just uh, put the icing on the cake here. <laughs> man, this is definitely not, not fair. I don't know how the game allows me to do that, but... <laughs> You know what? I'm an outlaw. You don't expect me to play fair now, do you? <laughs> uh, you good girl? Yeah. Alright, I think we're next to the camp now. Yeah, I recognize this route. Alright, where's Dutch? Not even on the minimap, man. Come on. Hopefully he teleports back here because I can't wait. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, horse. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> Well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. Here, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. All right, quite the sentimental Dutch we're getting there. <laughs>